Accommodation in the Eye by kscience.com. This is the cornea, and this is the lens, and these are the suspensory ligaments. The cornea is going to bend light towards the lens. So as you can see here, it, as light enters the eye through the cornea, it is going to bend towards the lens, so it refracts towards the lens. The lens then refracts the light towards the retina, and it focuses the light onto the back of the eye called the retina. So remember, what the cornea does, so the cornea, it's going to bend the light, so it refracts the light towards the lens. And the lens, this is the lens, the lens is going to refract or bend the light towards the point on the retina. So it focuses the light onto the retina. So it focuses the light onto the retina. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. In this video, we're going to talk about accommodation. And in this part of the video, we're going to look at how the eye can focus on near objects. If the lens is too thin and narrow, what happens is, is that the light that enters the eye that is refracted by the cornea will not be focused enough by the lens. So the light is going to be focused behind the retina, leading to a blurry image. But how does the eye change to focus the light onto the retina? Well, firstly, what happens is the ciliary muscles contract. So the ciliary muscles that connect the suspensory ligaments contract. So the suspensory ligaments are then slackened or loosened. Then the lens thickens and becomes more curved, which means that the lens is going to refract light more. So let's see how this happens. I'm now drawing another eye. So as you can see here, the ciliary muscles contract, which means that these suspensory ligaments become slackened. As you can see, they are more relaxed than in the first picture. So the suspensory ligaments are slackened. So because the suspensory ligaments are slackened, as you can see here, the lens becomes thicker and it's more curved. So because the ligaments aren't pulling on the lens, the lens is now thicker and more curved. So because the sensory ligaments are now relaxed and more slackened, this has led to a thicker lens. So when light enters the eye via the cornea, the lens is going to refract the light more. So when the light is refracted more, it is going to be able to refract light and focus it onto the retina, as opposed to it being focused behind the retina, causing a blurry image. So remember, when the ligaments are slackened, the lens is thicker and more curved, leading to the lens will refract light more onto the retina, leading to the image being focused onto the retina. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. When your eye is trying to focus light from objects far away and the lens is too thick, what happens is that the light is refracted too much and the light is refracted in front of the retina. So the light will focus in front of the retina, causing a blurry image. This is because the lens is too curved. This is due to the suspensory ligaments being too slackened or relaxed. So to focus on distant objects, the ciliary muscles will firstly relax. So the ciliary muscles will relax. This causes the suspensory ligaments to not be slackened anymore, and instead the ligaments are going to be pulled tight. The suspensory ligaments are then going to pull the lens so it is thinner and less curved. 
So the suspensory ligaments are going to pull tight, causing the lens to now be thinner and less curved. This means that light from distant objects are going to be refracted by the cornea and then when they go through the lens, they're going to refract less. So the light is going to refract less and then focus onto the retina. So the light is going to refract less and then focus onto the retina. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.